introduce yourself, please. Yeah, what's going on? This is Steven. Hey, hey. Uh, it's a, it's one of our fan faves. <laughs> hey, Steven. Uh, what's up, Steve-O? Uh, That's my boy. Rashad, Derwin. Um, and then uh, everybody else. Chaotic. Oh, sorry, truth, Mr. Yeah. Chaotic. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, I've been kind of digging the conversation tonight, man. Y'all been uh, touching on some very interesting topics. Now, I'm trying to catch up right now, but are you guys talking about how a woman dresses to find how you should go about defending her? Well, it led to this discussion about a woman's dress because um, we were talking about. He's talking about sleep. Yeah. And so um, chaotic truth was like, well, you know, if I there's a reason why I don't want my woman dressed a certain way. He's saying, like, my job is to protect you. Right. I'm the man. You're going to be looking for me to protect you. If you're dressed a certain way, you're going to invite certain attention. That's what he's saying. And that will put me in a position that I, I shouldn't be in. So that's why we ended up talking about dress okay now i think some of us are kind of disagreeing because we're kind of like well i like i partly agree i think that a woman should to i i per, i know candy girl you gonna spank me or something but i personally do think that if you're married to a man and he says i don't want you wearing that i think you should be wearing it that's just how i think okay um i'm not gonna spank you because i think if a woman tell her husband like that's uh uh take that off bro i think i, I agree with you actually. however i i don't agree that you know dressing a certain way invite it does it could invite negative attention but i think we also understand like as women i think canon mrs understanding and i understand that you can still be treated like that and we often are Still treated that way because of how uh, um, because of how we're dressed. I, I mean, I I don't really dress. You know, I sometimes I wear a short dress, but it's still not. You know, by most people's standards, it's not like you know raunchy or nothing. Like I'm mostly dressed conservatively, and I've experienced some of the same things Cannon has. So we're kind of just like, well, is that the real reason? Like, is that the real reason you saying that you don't want this? Ain't, that ain't the real reason. So, I mean, I, I, I think it's a little bit of both. Um, like you said, I don't think how you dress should inv invite, you know, sexual harassment or sexual abuse. Um, but, however, how you dress um, is what you're saying to the world. And one of the common, uh, one of the common uh, quotes that I've heard and a lot of women say is, you know, based on how a woman is dressing is how she plans on, basically, basically, if she's trying to show off her body, she wants to take care of her being. She wants to like what? Wives, you know. She wants to do so what? Like, if women are advertising, they call it, like, advertising. So it's like, she's all out. She got her body all out. Um, it's kind of an old wives tale that, you know, if she's out, if she's dressed like that, then she's advertising or she's trying to get attention and meet meet males. Let me tell you something. No, no, time out. No, 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 pause. Okay, well, let me tell you something. That's all fat and dandy, Stevie. Let me tell you something. This past little pandemic we was just talking about in the little past segment, all that damn work and effort I was putting in, you know, hitting all, not eating the stuff that I wanted to eat, you know, hitting the gym, doing all that working out. Oh, it's going to get advertised. What are you talking yeah. about? Yeah, so yeah, I, was gonna I gotta wash my car. I don't want nobody to steal it. Yeah, no. I don't want nobody to steal my car because I washed it because I'm going out. Like what? Yeah. yeah so I think, okay. man, y'all gotta kind of yeah, like. Can I finish what I'm saying? Like, oh, the old wives' tales threw us off. That that part. You, know you were done. I mean, we're done. Go ahead. Yeah, I know. Clearly. Oh. And I'm man enough to let my wife wear the stuff. Advertising. Hold on. I'm talking about like short shorts and and like you have naked i'm not talking about like women who are moderately dressed and i'm yeah, talking about half naked yeah half naked booty short. allow her to come out the house half naked booty short i think we're clear listen i think we're clear on what you're saying this has been said for decades 
Let me finish. This has been saying for decades. Let me be clear. I am very, I am a proponent of women dressing modestly. I am. I, I, I don't dress like maybe Cannon would. I'm not judging her for it. I, I, I'm not, that's her choice, right? I, I, I think, and, and then for some people in some cultures, you know, or some religions, and in some countries, they might say, well, you're not dressed modestly enough. Okay, everybody has different um, ideas about what or different measures of what is modest, right? I don't encourage women to walk around half dressed, um, half dressed, because I personally think your body ain't for everybody. That's my personal belief. Okay, we have heard for generations that women who dress in certain ways must be a whore, or they're so-called, like you said, are advertising themselves. That is a problematic way of thinking. You cannot say, no, no, Stephen, let me finish. Let me finish. You said that. You said it was an old wives' tale. I didn't say it in that concept to accept sexual assault or sexual abuse. That's how I. But no, no, no. But listen, listen. Let me finish. You don't mean it that way. But that is, you are you are manifesting those beliefs. And most men are not proponents of raping women, okay? We all know that, right? No. But listen, let me finish. A lot of times you all say that, but then you'll also turn around and say, oh, look at her. She has this short dress on. She must want me. She must want me up in it. How on earth does that not sound like a man who doesn't understand sexual abuse? But you said that the the woman is advertising herself. Yeah, but it's just like, so you don't know as far as the females on social media, when they become single, do you not see that there's a difference between pictures that they may post when they're in a relationship versus when they're single? I no, I don't have those types of things. Oh, wait, go ahead. I saw that with one of my friends. Okay. Wait, hold on. One at a time. Steven, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I mean, I'm just saying, like, I feel like women are so quick to pull that, that, uh, you know, how I dress shouldn't define me. Like, men have been hearing that shit forever. We are tired of that. Shit. But nobody, like, but I didn't say, say that. Though. I didn't say that it shouldn't define me. I said that how I dress gives no one the no, right to men touch men me. Those the are same two different arguments. Things, sir. Men make the same arguments. When men are sagging down to their bottom, all of a sudden they're not bad people. Y'all can't make the same argument. But, well, anyway, the point that I was making, Stephen, is contrary to popular belief in my experience as a woman. Like I told Chaotic Truth, I have never been accosted, touched, whatever, when I'm dressed in a provocative manner. But when I'm walking through the mall, when I'm at the gas station, when I'm doing regular things, being dressed regularly, you have men who do not respect boundaries and think, okay, I can touch you, I can grab your hand, I can grab your arm, I can do whatever. Those are the experiences that I've had. So you can say in your mouth all you want to, that like, oh, you're dressed provocatively, so of course guys are going to do X, Y, Z. But that has not been my experience. My experience is that guys feel a lot more comfortable when they feel like you dress down. When I'm all dressed up and everything, I think they feel like intimidated to approach. I'm pretty sure Steven said the opposite of that, though. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. That, that's usually the case. So, like, that makes sense to me that you're not getting approached when you're dressed up. Chaotic, you wanted to add something? Right. Yeah. Oh, and, 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 Were you done? With that part? No, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. I, I I I definitely definitely respect and agree with the caller. I'm glad he called in. He <laughs> is making uh, absolute sense. He's actually uh, speaking uh, the the word of the Lord. If you ask me. <laughs> now, Mrs. Understanding, you said something that I found quite interesting. I said <laughs> men do the same. I'm going to reiterate in case you didn't hear me. I, 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 I was going to repeat what you said, but go ahead. Okay, I said, man, this argument is slaps when it comes when it comes to the guys that sag. You never hear. Well, you better stop pulling the pants up because you know these men out here they like to see your booty. You never hear that. So for some reason, men can sag and have a whole butt out. We're not supposed to judge them. Uh-oh. We're not supposed to say anything about them. We're supposed to sit there and see their draws. Wait a minute, now, Mrs. So keep the same energy. 
Mrs. Understanding. Now you're being a little bit disingenuous here. You know damn I see well. Trials every day. You know damn well men who sag are shamed and boys because I taught in I taught in high school. They were shamed every day they did it. So it clearly didn't work because they still sag it. It, it, uh, uh, we know it doesn't work. This is just a bigger group of boys <laughs> but, that do it. It's a trend. But 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 like I said, any man, and I've seen men over thirty sagging. Yes. It, they're still shamed. They're shamed unanimously. It's like, why are you sagging? Are you a criminal? Are you this? Are you that? What are you sag? It's always a negative connotation with sagging. There's nothing positive about sagging. So to the people I, who don't I, say, yeah, I was going right. to say yes. The to people, people who don't, and I agree, but I think misunderstanding. I think you, you gave a, a, a an example, but I think that it's kind. Of, can I ask you a question, misunderstanding? Are you over the age of thirty? No, not yet. I'm almost. I up. knew I'm it. Almost I'm almost there. I knew it. And, and and Canon, I could almost bet you're not over the age of thirty too. Okay. okay. All right now. now. In the 1990s, I'll accept that, but, uh, I am 38 years old. I know, right? Okay, What's now that? hear me out for a minute. In the 19, now hopefully, the, hopefully the young man is still on the panel, and and Darwin and Rashad, you guys already know because you already told me your age. In the 1990s, let's be completely honest. If women, 80s, now, now women, now I remember in the 1990s like it was yesterday. That was the funnest decade of my life. That's the best in, R&B. In the 90s. Oh, my God. In the 90s, what would Cardi B and Meg Thee Stallion be called? Keep it real. Keep it real. Poochie Mamas. The Masai. same thing. Look, the same thing. Oh, they Brown. will be called prostitutes. Right. The same thing. Oh. Let's Brown be honest. Let's, well, hold on for a second. Women in the 90s typically dress, even the black women dress conservative. To Little a Kim and Foxy Brown dress Little, conservative. You're talking, about, you're talking about outliers. But you just bought up Cardi B and Meg Because, because <laughs> they, are, they are not outliers. To trick us. Hold on, wait they a minute. Give me, give, me, give, me, give me a second. Give me a second. Aaliyah now, wasn't half dressed all the time. Well, give me, give, give, give me, me a second. Give me, give me, give me, it's okay with baby. Okay, so let's go. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm very familiar. I'm very familiar with. Female rappers of the 90s. I'm not just talking about rappers. MC Light, MC Light didn't dress provocatively. She's one that Queen, La T Queen Latifah didn't dress provocatively. She she didn't. Now, let me, let me ask you this. Every female rapper now dresses like a stripper. No, they oh, don't. That is a lot. Every female artist. And I I female, the female rappers that you the pay attention to. Oh, the ones that get what is your what point? Jasmine Sullivan don't dress like a stripper. She's not no, a rapper. because he's because he's he's trying to use he's trying to use a social a social something that is a that I could use as a social indictment, like it proves something. No, and, and, and even the fact that you would just even bring up like what would they be called in the nineties, as though like women haven't all we're always well, been disrespected for yeah, expressing. We, oh, that's what I'm, like, I'm gonna let Stephen say his last point, and then we're gonna move on. I mean, and then we'll continue the conversation. I'll get Stephen off. Stephen, what did you want to say? What was the last thing you wanted to say? You know, I was just going to say, man, it seems like every time we have a conversation, I'll bring up what Jen are doing and, you know, trying to make a comparison. And at the end of the day, we aren't, we're not, we're symmetrical, right? So everything we do, y'all don't need to look at us at what we're doing. Right, and I think that. <laughs> well, let us stand. Let us uh, have our boobies out. It's it starting to get ridiculous. We can't yeah, I'm sorry, I can't respect that. Business. I don't know what you're exactly. talking about. Let them We're say. Talking. We're just stuck. What are you talking about? We're not talking about what men do. I, we, we're, I, this is so not we about double standards. About women dressing, and then we were talking about sagging. Okay, but Why listen, you're not getting the point. We're talking about how, the, how women are dressing conservative. Yeah, who part of this thing is making is that nobody should, no dude should be getting bust upside his head just because he got his pants sagging. Listen, listen, I think men and women will probably always argue about this. Nobody is hearing anything. Men, y'all say that y'all think logically a lot of times. But this is a case where y'all don't think logic. Listen, this is one because think about it. I agree. I personally believe that for me, I don't think my body should be all out there for the world. I don't. That's not what I want to do. Men don't like it. 
Men don't have to like it. Men don't have to respect it. But for you to sit here and say, look at that girl right there. She must be taking all these men. She must be trying to get with me. Or she probably will go sleep with my friend. You can think that. Isn't but that, that does not mean that it's logically, it doesn't make sense. That does not necessarily make sense. Think about women. Wait, let me finish. Please, let me finish. Think about a woman who is fully dressed. Does that mean that she ain't a hoe? No. So That's why all these men be dating, marrying these hoes. always bring up, oh, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> that is 